It's the National Football League on EA Sports. And if it's in the game, it's in the game. It's the Niners and the Packers. And it's kick it off next on Madden NFL 25. The address is 1265 Lombardi Avenue. The place is known as Title Town. Welcome inside legendary Lambeau Field in Green Bay, Wisconsin. Good to be in the booth with Greg Olson. I'm Mike Tirico. Greg, this is a passing league. You know that from your days. It's evolved even more into a game in the air. And boy, do we have a couple of quarterbacks who know all about moving their team via the pass. Yeah, and I think we're going to see this ball thrown early and often throughout the game. And anyone who loves offensive football, this is certainly a treat. And you said it, Mike. This league has turned more and more with each passing season into a passing league. If you can't throw, if you can't generate points through the air and explosive plays, it is going to be very difficult to compete and win week in and week out in today's modern NFL. Here's Jake Moody to get this one kicked off. And off we go from legendary Lambeau. On the return, here's Jaden Reed. He's across the 20, taken down just shy of the 25. Here comes the pack, and here comes Jordan Love. Fifth season quarterback, but Greg just his second as a starter, waited his turn, and had a really good first year as a starter. Took a little while for him to get his chance to be a full-time starter, but once he got that shot, he's just never looked back. I mean, Mike, think, he's always had that power for him. He can push the ball up and down the field and make every throw imaginable. But that time he spent on the sideline, I think it ended up being a massive blessing in disguise. He was able to work on his game from a mental and technical standpoint with no pressure to play. And now he is reaping all the benefits. It's not the big play they were hoping for, but first down efficiency, staying ahead of the chains, is what every offense is trying to find, and it brings up a manageable second down. Here's second and six. The man in motion is Watson. On the ground, this is the 2022 rushing champ, Josh Jacobs. He's going to have a Packers first down as he's got this up to about the 34-yard line. Second down at these distances, Mike, you pretty much anticipate a pass, and I think that's what the defense was lined up thinking. In this case, they leave a little too much room on the ground, and the offense is able to pick up a first down. Love to throw it on first down. Completes this one. That's Christian Watson. And he's close to a first down to gain a nine. Nice pitch and catch on first down. As a route runner, once you identify zone coverage like they were playing here, the key is find open space and stay in it. He did a nice job here because that was not a big hole. The quarterback had to put a little extra on that one, and they were able to make the completion. On second down, Jacobs. And he's going to be stopped in his tracks. He'll lose a couple of yards on that one. The offense thinks that they can just kind of plow this one up there in the middle and keep the chains moving, but not on this defense. Not only do they not pick up the first down, but after suffering that loss, now they've got some decisions to make on third down. They'll try to run it here with Jacobs. A pickup there of 13. Good for a Green Bay first down. Over the last couple years, Mike, we've seen the trend in the NFL is that third down has really become a passing down, but not here. Not for this team. They keep the ball on the ground. They're able to pick up a big gain. Fresh set of downs. A fresh set of downs to work with. It is first down and 10. Here's Love. He'll keep this himself. And he'll work forward for about four. It's second down. Nice job by the defense. They had that one well read from the beginning, Mike. Someone's responsible for the running back. But the key here was the defender responsible for the quarterback. Stays with him. Keeps him to a short game. On second down, Love. It'll be a pickup of 10. First down, Packers. 
offensively, landing a lot of body blows on this drive, Mike. Just the ability to steadily march the ball downfield and remain so efficient, both run and pass. As they continue to wear this defense out, they have to find a way to end this drive with points. Anything short of that would be a bit of a letdown. He'll work his way ahead for a gain of about four. Here's a second and six. Once again, it's Jacobs. And he nearly got free. But as it is, gain of six. And it sets up third down. Throwing is that is intercepted. That's the linebacker Fred Warner. Big return at the end. He's going to get out of bounds close to midfield. It's not often, Mike, that everything breaks right for this type of return off of an interception. But boy, is it beautiful when it does. I mean, look at the defenders just flip around and become blockers, trying to spring their guy to the house. Great athleticism, some great moves on his part. I mean, he's going to have some of his offensive teammates looking over their shoulder for their position. Here come the 49ers, and they are led by Brock Purdy. You know the story, taken last in the 2022 draft. The last two seasons, he has led the Niners deep in the playoffs, and it's his third season, Greg, as the QB for San Francisco. Mr. Irrelevant. Well, I think it's safe to say, Mike, he has been anything but irrelevant since arriving in the NFL, and he is living proof. It doesn't matter if you're drafted first overall, or in his case, with the very last pick. What does matter is what you do with the opportunity once it's given to you. Nothing real flashy about his game. He simply gets the job done, and that's exactly what his team is counting on him today over these next 60 minutes. They'll come up now for second down and four. And they bring him down, but not until they get inside the 30-yard line. Set to go now on first and 10. From the gun, it's Purdy. This throw left side caught by Kittle. And he's going to be brought down just outside the 10-yard line. Injury on the field, and it is George Kittle who is in some discomfort. Athletic training staff looking at him, so we'll step aside. So not quite first and goal. It's first and 10. They're pretty close. Quick throw taken in. And that keeps them ahead of schedule. That's a first down completion of seven yards. They bring the tight end in motion. They'll run. This is Jordan Mason. And he'll get about halfway there. That's a gain of two. Down to the two. Purdy now on third and two. He'll be forced to just throw that one away. It's incomplete. They went for it all on that one and just a little bit off. 
Ball winds up hitting the ground. They've got to move forward. The opportunities are out there. Better execution, better location, and they got some big plays in their future. Ah, early big play here. They're going to go for it on fourth down. Now Purdy. And this is caught. Wow, the decision to go pays off. Debo Samuel. Touchdown, 49ers. Tight spaces down there. Things happen quick. Greg, a quick decision and great execution for the score. You're exactly right, Mike. Down here this close to the goal line, everybody's clock has to speed up. Not only the quarterback processing to get the ball out of his hand, but you have to win as a receiver quickly and give the quarterback somewhere to go with the ball. It was that quickness at the line of scrimmage that led to that touchdown. So, following that touchdown, Moody is back out to kick it off. For the return, it's Keyshawn Nixon. Now an opening past the 30. Terrific return. He's taken down just shy of midfield. The Packers offense ready to possess the football for the second time. They trail here by a touchdown as this drive will start with a first down. start on the ground with Jacobs and he'll get forward for about a yard the veteran Leonard Floyd they're on the tackle here's a second and nine he'll stay on the ground with Jacobs and he is not going to get away. Might have gotten a yard, but it will set up third down. Out of the shotgun, it's Love. He's got a man. It's Dodd. Romeo Dobbs, touchdown Green Bay. And this is what good offenses in the NFL do, Mike. It's the ability to bounce back, even if the onset of the game doesn't go exactly according to plan. Everybody wants to take their opening possession and go down there and come away with a touchdown. But it's not always going to be perfect. You turn it over on possession one. What are you going to do in response on possession two? Well, we just got our answer, and they took it down for six. Brandon McManus now to add the extra point. He's got it. And the Packers will tie things up at 7-7 here in the opening quarter. So back to level after the touchdown in time for the kickoff. On the return, it's Ronnie Bell. And he's brought down right at the 25-yard line. The 49ers offense ready for their second possession. We'll try to break out of this deadlock. We are all even at seven as they start this drive first and ten.
They'll send a tight end in motion right. They'll go play action with Purdy. He's hit after the catch, and the ball comes free. And the defense has it. And so much for a nice game through the passing game. Not finishing the play, fumbling the football, and the offense has turned it over, Greg. Mike, give credit to the defender here for not quitting on this play. They just give up a chunk play in the passing game. He stays after it, and instead of just making a simple tackle, he attacks the ball, knocks it loose, and creates a big takeaway for this defense. The Packers offense makes their way back out to the field for their next possession. They'll have a short field ahead as they look to break our tie. And remember now, all turnovers have to be verified by a replay, so they might be taking a look at this one. At issue was the knee, or any other body part except the hand, down before the ball comes loose. And are the visuals convincing enough to overturn the call on the field? So that one overturned. They say the runner was down, and that will not be a fumble. They'll break the huddle. Coming up now for first and ten. A run. And here's Mason. And that'll go for a gain of about four. Jair Alexander up from the secondary to make the stop. is Mason and he's taken down on what should be the final play of this first quarter a touchdown apiece here in the first quarter of play all even on the scoreboard and we're back at Lambeau Field in just a moment third and five Throwing from the gun is per under pressure, and he'll go down. They got him. In the midst of a tight game like that, you're looking for every play that you can make to try to gain advantage. And if you can continue to get after the quarterback, disrupt the rhythm and timing of this quarterback, in the second half, that could be the difference of you being able to pull away. So on fourth down, the Aussie, Mitch Wisnowski, out to punt. Out to return this for the Packers, it's Keyshawn Nixon. And he'll get a few yards on this return, up past the 15-yard line. The Packers offense and Romeo Dobbs heading out for their next possession. They'll work in a tie game here in the second quarter and get started with first and ten. From the gun, it's Love. He'll take a shot for Watson. That is caught! And they are not going to catch up to him. He will score! 83 yards! Touchdown, Green Bay! Well, that is a quick drive and the best way to finish it. The touchdown pass downfield. Greg, you rarely see a deep shot like that to start a drive. You're right, Mike. We don't see it a lot, but I wish we did. It's actually the most efficient and safest down to pass the ball. And in this case, the defense is thinking run, got a lot of defenders up in the box, and they're able to strike deep with a pass play for six. Now it's McManus for the point after.
He knocks it through. And the Packers will move out to a 14-7 lead. Both teams ready to go once more as the kick's away. Here is Bell on the return. And he is stopped at the 25. The drive will begin there. The 49ers offense ready to see what they can do with this next possession. They trail now 14-7 as they'll come up for first and 10. Purdy works out of the pistol. And he can't hang on through the contact. It's incomplete. What a good job defensively to meet him just as the ball was arriving. And it'll be second down. He decides to go with the safe throw and throws it well short of the sticks. And at this level, Mike, you just can't miss layups like that. On second down, Purdy. That's into the hands of Jordan Mason. And he's going to be dropped after a pickup of about five. Here now, third and five. Shotgun snap to Purdy. And that is incomplete. Ricky Pearsall, the intended receiver. And it's going to bring up fourth down. And barring an aggressive decision here on fourth down, it just seemed like a really wasted possession to go three and out, not able to pick up a single first down. Not only do you not able to gain any field position advantage, it really takes a lot of the wind out of your sails as you find yourself jogging off the field and the punt team coming on. To return, it's Nixon. And he'll be brought down. Short return. And they'll take over there. Here's Christian Watson and the rest of the Packer offense heading back onto the field. They lead by a touchdown as this drive begins with first and ten. Off the play fake. Here's Love. Over the middle, he fits it into Dobbs. And they will bring him down on the other side of midfield. Didn't take them long to get now to their opponent's side of the field. I like the idea of starting this drive with some explosive pass plays. That's going to open everything up, both underneath in the passing game and on the ground. So big play to get this drive off to a fast start. They'll come up here first and ten. Back to throw is Love. The open man is Reed. He's got it. And they'll get about four here as he is taken down. You can see the eyes of the quarterback. He's trying to push this ball initially downfield, but with the defense doing a good job keeping a lid on the coverage, he's forced to check this ball down to the shallow route. But this is something that they know in the future. If I need a couple yards, they can come back to this play. Quick throw out wide. It's caught. Pick up of 11 yards on that one. Good for a Green Bay first down. Not a whole lot complicated about this play, Mike. That was understanding where the holes of the defense were. Remember, in this zone coverage, you got to find green grass. Get past the first down marker. Be friendly to the quarterback and then the ball has to be out on time before those zone defenders can react to the receiver. It's exactly how it played out here, 
You can drop all the fancy plays you want, but when the quarterback and the receiver see it through the same set of eyes, it's virtually impossible to stop. Well, let's give some credit to the big boys up front in the trenches. They knew that blitz was coming. They held up just long enough that the quarterback could get that ball out safely and results in a completion. On play action, look. This one is caught by Reed. And they'll whistle him down, but not before he picks up a first down after a gain of seven. One of the easiest ways to negate these really good pass rushes in the NFL, Mike, is just to simply get the ball out of the quarterback's hand as fast as possible. And sometimes it's by design, sometimes it's based on need. But really nice job there by the quarterback. Get into the hands of his receiver and then see what he can do after the catch. Here's a second and three forthcoming. Now Love. And that is caught in the end zone. He's in. Christian Watson. Touchdown, Packers. His second touchdown of this first half. And that is number two. Greg, he is off to some kind of start in this one. Two quarters and two receiving touchdowns. Mike, this is one of those situations where as a defensive coordinator, you've got to give your group an answer because right now they don't have one for this guy. McManus on for the point after. It's up and through. And the Packers will take a 21-7 lead. The kickoff team is out on the field and we're back to it as the kicks away here is bell on the return oh he's got room past the 30. oh very good field position to start as the return is past the 40. here's the san francisco offense ready to take possession of the ball once more they trail by two touchdowns so the time is now gotta get that rally going it starts with first and ten. Out of the gun. It's Purdy. Oh, and a short throw there, but it's going to end up incomplete. That's a pass he say he should have had. Instead, he does not, and it brings up second down. So the receiver does everything right except for the most important part. He runs a nice route, great, great separation downfield, but now you just got to finish that thing off with a catch. Off the bootleg, it's Purdy. That's complete to Mason. And a good job rallying to the football, holding just a gain of a yard and sets up third down. Defensive coordinators preach all the time, play pass defense with vision. It's exactly the case here. They're able to rally to the ball, keep that to a short game. Third and nine. Out of the gun, here's Purdy. And this drive is over before it can start. He's swallowed up to force fourth down. Really nice start for this defense here early through the first quarter. Two different players each recording a sack. Offensive line's going to have to get together on the sideline with their coach and identify where's the weakness in our protection? How can we get extra bodies and extra attention? Because we still got a long way to go in this one. Here's Mitch Wisnowski now. As this drive went backwards, he's on to kick it away. And not much doing there. They made sure he would not get free. Jordan Love and the rest of the Packer offense ready for their next possession. 
and he has done everything you could ask of him coming into this one. He spread it around, hasn't taken many chances, and potentially on his way to a big game throwing the football. Here's first and ten. On the ground, it's Jacobs to start the drive. And he's going to be marked down up around the 33. The offensive line doing a great job opening these run lanes. They have been there this entire first half. And I think if I'm this play caller, until the defense makes an adjustment and takes it away, I think I'm just going to keep turning around and handing it to that guy. So it'll be first and 10. They'll scrimmage at the 33. Here's Love to throw. He's hit as he threw. It goes to the ground, and it's an incomplete pass. You can't fault the quarterback on this one, Mike. He really didn't even have much of an opportunity. By the time he hit the top of his drop and got his eyes downfield, the defense was all over him, and he really had no choice but to just get that ball out of his hand and live to play another snap. Here's a handoff to Jacobs. And this defense up to the task there. Gain of just two, and it's third down. Two minutes to go here till halftime. Back with more from Lambeau Field after this. We're going to try to pick this up on third and eight. Love to throw. This one on target. It's Dodge. Already closing in on 100 yards receiving in the first half. That one picks up a first down. And that's an important conversion, not only because it keeps their offense on the field, and now they can go down and see if they can steal some late points, but either way, worst-case scenario, Mike, if you're the offense here, you want to possess the ball going into halftime. Don't give your opponent a chance to go down and score on you. So big pickup there. Now we'll see if they can turn it into some points. This one complete. Right side, it's Watson. And he'll be hauled down at about the 35-yard line. And now you can see they're really getting in rhythm in this two-minute drive. Now, after that last completion, Mike, they cross midfield. Now the mindset goes to, all right, we got to come away with some points. They've got a quarterback who's in complete control, and they got to see if they can finish this thing off. He tosses over the middle. This one is caught. And he's close to another first down as he's brought down just shy of the marker. Second and a yard. The Packers go ahead and use the first of their timeouts as the clock stops with 46 seconds remaining in the first half. A good spot here. Second and a yard. To throw is love. He's got room to roll. Now they are in business inside the 15-yard line. The thing that jumps out to me the most, Mike, is just how often the quarterback is able to throw the ball to his first read in the progression. So hats off to the play caller. Him and the quarterback seeing the game through the exact same set of eyes, and there is a lot of room to operate. That's to Dobbs again. And that keeps him ahead of schedule. That's a first down completion of seven yards. Here's second and three to go. Throwing is love. Oh, a lot of chances on that one. It was bouncing around, but it falls incomplete. Christian Watson, the intended receiver. And it's going to be third down. A rare miss for a quarterback that we've seen really come out on fire 
throughout this entire contest. I mean, his completion percentage, Mike, is well above league average, and frankly, it's really the biggest reason why they find themselves out in front. That'll be caught. It's Josh Jacobs. Well, they say football is a game of inches, and plays like this explain why. You pick up a little bit more, it's a fresh set of downs. Now, on fourth and short, this coach has the decision to make. So, instead of going for the first down, in comes the field goal unit. Bit of a surprise here. McManus's kick is good. And the Packers going to tack on three more, extending the lead here late in the first half. And that's a really nice boost here before the break. I mean, you work the clock well. You're able to steal some points. The biggest thing is you're able to build a little momentum now going into the locker room at halftime. So, still the matter of six seconds remaining in this half. And the kick's away. And this one is fielded in the end zone, will not be returned. So it'll come out to the 30. So they come to the line for first down and 10. To throw is Purdy. Complete. One final chance does not work out. Time has expired. The first half has come to an end. All right, Michael, thanks very much as we welcome you into our downtown Orlando studios and the EA Sports Halftime Report. It was an excellent first half from quarterback Jordan Love. He threw a first quarter touchdown pass, then two more in the second quarter, a three touchdown half and he may just be getting started. This was an extremely one-sided first half. One team showed up, ready to go. The other's been in a daze thus far, but there's still plenty of time left for this one to tighten up significantly. Very one-sided first half of action. Will we get a turnaround? Let's find out. The third quarter is underway. And it'll be brought down past the 25. Decent field position to start this drive. The 49ers offense going to have a first crack at it as we begin this third quarter. The deficit is 17, so they got to start cutting into it soon. See if it starts here. First and 10. This is Mason, and he's brought down after a gain of a couple. They'll come up on a second down and eight. From the gun, it's Purdy. That finds Samuel working across. Here's a third down and four. To throw, it's Purdy. Now, screen set up for Mason. And the defense can't come up with a stop there. Gain a seven and a first down. Well, they finally are able to convert on a third down. And, Mike, when you look back at a box score, some of the biggest indications of how well the game went, of course, you don't want to turn the ball over. How do you execute in the red zone? And then how are you on third down? Third downs typically lead to long drives. Long drives tend to lead to points. Not a real complicated formula. Stay on the field. The more snaps, the more plays, the better. 
Take a look at his eyes. You can see the quarterback clearly going through all of his progressions, and he's quick to realize there's nowhere to go with this ball. He makes the right decision and gets out of there, picks up some good yardage, and gets down on the ground. On second down, they'll run. And nothing on that one back to the line of scrimmage, and that is it. All the qualities that make a good safety are seen on display on this play. Speed, pursuit, and then the intensity and the strength at the point of contact for the tackle to keep this ball carrier to no gain. That is a complete safety play. One of the tight ends motions right. Purdy now on third and two. He's got his tight end, Kittle. And he'll be out of bounds inside the 30-yard line. Purdy to Kittle for the Niners' first down. Now, Mike, I really like this game plan, right? The strategy on third and short so often is, okay, just get enough for the first down. If you decide to air it out, everything's short, get a fresh set of downs. They're saying the defense is going to pack it in close. They're protecting the sticks. So let's just throw it over their head and try to go for a big play. Purdy on first down. He'll set up the screen here to Pearsall. And he's close to another first down as he's brought down just shy of the marker. In a lot of offenses, Mike, these quick passes to the wide receivers really fall under the run category. Of course, they're going to go down as a forward pass, but to a lot of offensive coordinators in the league, it's a lot easier to pick up first and second down yardage on these quicks than it is to turn around and hand it off to your running back and count on blocking everybody. Gets this one into the hands of Jawan Jennings. That's a gain of 16 yards, and it sets up first and goal. Anytime you're facing a zone defense, you're working from your first progression all the way through. But when guys are open in this level, Mike, they don't stay open very long. So what they taught us as receivers, if you're open, stay open. And if you're not open, you better get open quick because that ball is coming out. And he will take this one across into the end zone. Gordon Mason. Touchdown, San Francisco. We were kind of a do-or-die drive. They felt like they needed to come away with the touchdown here, and now they're showing a little life. Yeah, a little, little bit of belief, don't you think? Everyone on that field knows they've been a part of a comeback before. It's a pretty big mountain, but a good way to get started here to begin this half. Moody now for the extra point. He gets it to go. And the 49ers back within 10. It's now 24 to 14. So, following that touchdown, Moody is back out to kick it off. This returnable with Reed. Across the 20, they'll mark him down before the 25-yard line. And that's where the offense will take over. The Packers offense and quarterback Jordan Love heading back out there. And we show you some of the highlights, and there have been plenty to choose from. Three touchdown passes and some other big-time throws as well. Certainly dialed in and on top of his game right throughout this one. So here's a first and 10 now. They'll start from the 24. Now Love, over the middle, he fits it into Dobbs. Second down and three.
to throw is Love. Quickly to the outside and complete. And they will finally run him down. Those are the explosive pass plays that this team is going to continue to mine all day. And you can see pre-snap, the quarterback loved his matchup. He allowed his receiver to work downfield. Perfect throw and now sets them up to try to see if they can finish this drive off with some points. Ball rests at the 37. It's first and 10. Here's Love. That's Dobbs open left side. And he's brought down after a gain of six on first down. Defense does a nice job here initially using zone coverage to take away the middle of the field. That's the most valuable real estate in football. Quarterback gets off his first read, sees some openings to the sideline, and him and his receiver are able to connect. This one is caught by Reed. And they'll pick up the first down, a gain of about four. Out of the shotgun, it's Love. That is hauled in at the five. And he will score again. Christian Watson, touchdown Green Bay. That is his third touchdown of the afternoon. And that is the hat trick. What a game. His third touchdown reception of this one. And nothing they've done to slow him down has worked, Mike. This defense, they're throwing multiple guys at him. They're playing man. They're playing zone. It doesn't matter. This guy is having his way, and he's having a day. Now it's McManus for the point after. His kick is good. And the Packers will extend this third quarter lead. Both teams ready to go once more as the kicks away. Here is Bell on the return. He'll get this past the 20 before he's brought down shy of the 25-yard line. The Niners offense about ready to take over once more. They'll do so with first and 10. to throw that's complete to Mason and he's not going to be able to get away very good coverage on the perimeter it goes down as a loss of yards we call them safeties because they're usually the last line of defense but not here on this play he's up there at the line of scrimmage attacking the offense and he takes him down for a negative play on second down heard it Samuel has it working the middle. And they'll get about eight out of that one, but still a little work to do now on third down. The receiver thought he had a nice soft spot in that zone coverage, and he settles down to give a nice target to the quarterback. But the defense had eyes on him the entire time. Secure rally tackle prevents that from turning into a big play. They'll motion a tight end right. Third down. Purdy. Taking off, he'll try to get there. And he's going to have a 49ers first down, able to get eight on third and five. Really nice job here, not only avoiding the rush on third down, but quickly finding that crease, get downfield, and he's able to pick up the first down. Line of scrimmage is the 37-yard line for first and 10. 
Right side, hauled in by Samuel. And they will bring him down on the other side of midfield. Whatever they've talked about in the locker room at the halftime break seems to have worked. They've come out with a new established energy. You could see it when they took the field. Now this offense seems to be building on it because with that chunk play, just a little bit of rhythm that they can build off of. They got a long way to go to get back into this game, but so far off to a good start. Here's Purdy on first and 10. Going right back to Samuel. He's got it again. And he's close to another first down as he's brought down just shy of the marker. Receiver just finds himself in a really nice groove. And there's these weird times in the game, Mike, where it just seems like every ball comes your way. Every play they call, you're wide open. And you just find yourself in one of those grooves that athletes talk about. So they got to continue to ride the hot hand because right now on that field, there's no mistake in who it is. They'll look to pick this up, third and a yard. Needing a yard, they throw with Purdy. And this ball incomplete on third down. For the most part, he's been very accurate with the ball. I mean, he's completing over 60% of his passes, but because they haven't been able to get any big explosive plays, continue to push the ball downfield, Hasn't really translated on the scoreboard just yet. He'll try to run. And he's not going to get there. The defense was ready for it. And they stuff him on fourth down. Yeah, and when you find yourself down big here in the second half, you have to maximize every possession. And that's exactly what the coach tried to do, going for it on fourth down. Give yourselves a chance to cut into this big lead. But it's the defense that came through again with a huge stop. And that's going to make their chances of coming back that much more difficult. And it'll be brought down as we tick towards the end of this third quarter. So both teams trade touchdowns in that frame as we get through the end of the third quarter. Back with more after the break. You're tuned in to the NFL on EA Sports. They'll try again here, second and 10. Back to throw is Love. Can't beat those legs. 13-yard pickup. A scramble leads to a first down. You know, Mike, I like everything about this play except the very end. You've already picked up good yardage. You've already picked up the first down. Now get down on the ground and protect yourself. There's no reason to take those shots. On the handoff, this is Jacobs. And the defense all over this one. They knock him down. It'll go down as a loss of two. Great job by that linebacker timing his blitz. He didn't give any indication to the offense that he was coming. And he's able to get through that hole and take the ball carrier down for a loss. On the bootleg, it's Love. And that one is complete along the boundary. Good job of getting those feet in bounds. The best guys I've been around, Mike, they have a sense where they can see the ball but they can feel the sideline. And that's kind of an innate sense that these guys have that allows them to concentrate and secure the catch and ensuring that both feet remain in bounds. It's the tight end craft in motion. That ball is caught on the sideline and both feet in bounds. A big third down pickup for a first down. A gain of 15 and a first down. This is why the timing of these routes is so critical. If that ball is thrown a little bit later, he's unable to keep his feet in bounds, but instead the quarterback is on time and accurate, and the receiver does a nice job not only securing the catch, but ensuring that both feet remain in bounds. 
And he'll plow forward for a gain of four yards. Here's a second and six. Running is Jacobs. He'll turn this into a gain of about four. It's going to lead to third down. From the gun, here comes Jacobs. And a spirited run there, somehow managing to gain a couple of yards. Brandon McManus and the field goal unit come on. This a 46-yard attempt. He is two for two. That kick is good. And the Packers will add to their lead here in the fourth quarter. I think at this point in the game, Mike, when you have things under control, not only were they able to hold on to the ball for a while, they still were able to manage to add three points. The kickoff team is out on the field, and we're back to it as the kick's away. Here is Bell on the return. And a solid run back there. He'll get this out past the 30-yard line. The Niners offense starting to trot out for this next possession. Things not looking good. But see if they get the turnaround going here. They'll start this drive with first down. So Kittle comes in motion. A first down throw for Purdy. And no chance to turn and go. That one good for just a couple. Second down and eight. throwing is Purdy. He gets this one to Samuel. It's complete. And he's going to be dropped after a pickup of about five. They'll come up to third and three. Throwing from the gun is Purdy. And that is incomplete this has really been the story of this entire game Mike I mean this pass rush has had the advantage over the offense pretty much spun the jump and they've already recorded a couple of sacks a handful of close calls and it's the pressure in the backfield is why this team finds themselves with the lead here late in this ballgame now or never they'll throw on fourth down no one open he'll drop it to his running back it's a gain of 10 as they get the conversion on fourth down. And this is a tricky part of the game for any defense. You find yourself protecting a late lead. And the age-old question is, do you remain aggressive? Do you try to just keep the ball from being thrown over your head and make everything be tackled and played in front of you? That's what every defensive coordinator struggles with. So they can't get too soft here as they try to hold on to this lead here late. Initially, Mike, a really good job by the defense. Nowhere to go with the ball for this quarterback. He's forced to pull it down and turn into a runner. A little slow reaction, and he's able to actually pick up a pretty good game. Throwing on second down is Purdy. He's got his man on the in route. Yes, taken in over the middle. 
Well, we'll give a little credit here defensively. Even though they allow the first down, we've seen defenses really struggle bringing this big tight end to the ground, and they didn't allow him to pick up a bunch of yards after contact, but he was able to get just enough to pick up the first down. Throwing on first down is Purdy. He'll find his tight end, Kittle, on the right side. And they are in great shape. He's taken down inside the 10. And this is what the offense needed. Now, after that last completion, you still trail here in the fourth quarter. You need scores, and you need scores fast. So they cannot take their time. I wouldn't be surprised to get them right back up on the line of scrimmage and try to score here now that it's first and goal. From six yards out, it's first and goal. Here's Purdy. And he can't hang on through the contact. It's incomplete. What a good job defensively to meet him just as the ball was arriving. And it'll be second down. It's rare to see an offense that finds themselves trailing and say, well, their quarterback's been actually one of their biggest bright spots. Usually that doesn't go hand in hand. So it's a little surprising to see him miss a throw like that on a day where he's completed passes at a... And he's in. Ricky Hearsaw. Touchdown, 49ers. On is Moody to add the extra point. He's got it. And the 49ers are able to cut into the deficit. This one not quite over, but down a couple of scores. We're going to get an onside kick. Well, we knew, Mike, this was going to take a miracle. All they needed to do was recover this, score, recover another one, score again. Unfortunately, that's not going to happen, and this game's all but over. The home team's offense and their quarterback headed out for their next possession. And he has been masterful so far leading this offense, keeping the mistakes to a minimum, on point with his passes, generally one step ahead of the defense all game long. Three tight ends in the game to start the drive. A handoff running left, it's Jacobs. The Niners will use the first of their timeouts, and they'll get together prior to this second down play. It's Jacobs, and he'll get this ahead, gain of about four, and it leads to third down. run it straight ahead with Jacobs. The Niners will use their third and final timeout. They'll be disappointed there after giving up the first down.
victory very much in sight now as they'll take a knee. It is third and ten. Victory formation here as he's down to a knee. So, it's a win for the Packers. This was a game where both offenses were up and down the field, marching the ball at will, matching each other point for point. But in the end, they got a few more defensive stops than their opponents did, and that was the difference in this one. So, that'll do it for us. For Greg Olson and our terrific team behind the scenes, I'm Mike Tirico. You've been watching the NFL on EA Sports. Follow us on X at EA Madden NFL. The Packers are winners as we say so long from legendary Lambeau Field.